episode of LSPDFR. I always appreciate you guys tuning into my channel. Thanks for coming by. Today, obviously, we're going to be running in uh, Highway Patrol. This pack is installed by uh, Surprise Surprise, you guessed it, Ripple. I'm not biased, guys, I promise. I can't help it if everything the guy puts out is just gorgeous. I can't help that. Every car pack he's got on LSPDFR.com is just amazing. Look at these guys. Fabulous. Alright, we got a couple things new in this episode, guys. First off, we've got a new siren installed. The siren was recommended by a fan of, uh, by, goes by the name of Omid Oval. Shout out to you, Omid. This siren is great. So let's show you guys the lights and we'll run the siren and let you guys hear it. We got a code one. Amber's in the back on the light bar, of course. Pretty standard. Code two. We got red and blues in the rear windshield and the bumper as well. Up front, we got uh, uh, lights on the front bumper. And we got uh, red and blues uh, in the center of the light bar, uh, extending to the outside. And then code three. We got everything running. We got multiple lights in the ramp bar, which is gorgeous. Love it. Everything running in the light bar here in the front and rear, and of course we got the tail lights running here on this 2014 Charger that we're going to be rolling in today. Okay, so let's give a listen to this siren. This siren is a Carson Sierra Alpha-365 siren, and it sounds a little something like this, guys. Isn't that beautiful? I'm in love with this siren. Thanks again, Omid, for the shout out and the link for this siren. I'll probably use this one for a little bit because I'm really liking it. All right, guys. Um, we we found ourselves a you know a, a decent little spot here. We're not really hiding too much, but uh, we're gonna throw up our radar out here and uh, see if we can catch some speeders or some. Um, traffic documentation violations so we're gonna throw it up let's see what we can find we got our speed limit set to 70 speed limit out here should be 60 so 10 mile and over uh, limit is pretty realistic that guy was close man he was almost going 70 Dispatch, be advised, we just got a, a, a vehicle driving erratically heading uh, east, U.S. Route 68, just 10.50 to get into another vehicle uh, in pursuit. Yeah, there's another vehicle we crashed into. These might be racers. Dispatch, show me in a uh, pursuit. Dispatch, show me in pursuit of an erratic driver. I can't take it right okay, we got this guy. If he's still alive, uh, dispatch requesting code three backup. Backup oh, needed in uh. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the fucking vehicle. Holy this shit. Ocean 1 here. We can take that if no one else wants it. Do not move. You're under arrest, dumbass! Alright, we got one unit arrived here. Okay, we kind of need to attend to this other... Um, here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and throw him into the back of the, our uh, backup unit here. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. What's happening right now? Okay, 
whatever, you know what, that's fine. That's, if it even works. No, it didn't work. Of course it didn't. Of course it didn't. So we'll just go back to our original plan. Yeah, we're gonna put him in the back of our backup unit here. I'm gonna come back and talk to him later. Got it! Wow! What the Sweet fuck is Jesus. going on out here today? Are you kidding me? Holy shit. God damn it. We just got this motorcycle injured. Fucking A, man. You're blocking my way and my T, asshole. Dispatch, send me a few additionals. Code 3 backup. Wow. I don't even know what to do anymore with this. Move your ass. Assistance needed in Tampa Valley. So that guy just Copy got hit. Dispatch. Fucking A. So we'll put him in the back of this vehicle, I guess. Let's fucking go I'm already! Fucking real man. So goddamn annoying. Hell. Why is everybody out here racing right now? What the fuck? Just running into everything. Stop traffic. Okay. So we got his vehicle right there. I'm gonna quickly try and make my way up the road here. You're and, covered! Uh, Move! Get the fuck out of the back of my car, man. Move! That's where you're gonna stand? Really? All the places you can stand, that's where you wanna stand. Thanks. Stupid. Okay? Can you get out of the vehicle? Wait there! Alright, looks like he's alright. He's made his way out. Alright, man. Go ahead and follow me up to the side of the road here for me, okay? Let's get out of the road. Come on over here. Hey, are you, are you alright? What, what are you doing out here? Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure you were racing out here. You just you just got in a really nasty I wreck, dude. That was, that was one of the worst wrecks I've ever seen. Your car is upside down, man. Where'd you come from? From work? Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find something. I know there's a way to ask if they need an um, uh, EMS or anything like that. It's going to be in here somewhere, right? Come on. Where is it at? Investigation questions. Okay, do you need any medical attention after that wreck? He says no, he's okay. It's not too bad. You sure? You sure about that? Okay, he says he's alright. I guess he's alright. Oh my fucking god, guys. I seriously cannot stand this game right now. With all this, all these ambient events that are happening right now, it's just to a completely ridiculous level, right at this point. <sighs> all right, man, go ahead and uh, go ahead and take a seat for me. All right, we're gonna we're gonna call EMS out here anyway. Just go ahead and check you out, okay? Because uh, I've never seen an accident like that. Dispatch requesting EMS. Ambulance assistance required in Great Chaparral. All right, we also got a, uh, a new ambulance installed for this episode, guy. Another shout out to Omido Ball for the recommendation uh, on this uh, AMR skin that we've got installed. So it's showing up now, and we'll get a good look at it. Hell of a lot better looking than the uh, the vanilla GTA 5 ambulance. Am I right? We can all agree on that, right? And you know what? Because I did not call them with him, 
Uh, yeah, we're not even going to touch him. I was afraid of that. No. What, what is it? In here, here we go. Uh, ambulance. Hopefully these same guys will come over ambulance. and check them out. Assistance nope, required in Great Chaparral. Okay. That's my fault, guys. Who'd they run over on the way over here? Your buddies? Oh, we're gonna get out of the way here. Okay, oh, yep. Hey there. I, uh, I guess they deemed him, uh, they, they did find some injuries on him uh, worthy of going to the hospital. Now, we did uh, find reason to believe that he may or may not have been under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Um, so we're definitely going to be having an officer escort this ambulance uh, to the hospital um, and probably have this guy in, um, uh, under watch and some further investigation will be done with him um, after he gets taken care of there at the end or at the hospital. We're going to go ahead and search this vehicle too. Bottle of bleach, uh, bottle of Percocet. That's not good. All right. Well, we're definitely gonna be taking that bottle of Percocet in for evidence. And uh, once he gets questioned um, at the hospital, we'll be able to determine whether or not that Percocet is something he was under the influence of or not. So, dear God, man, fucking a. EMS is so fucking dangerous. What is it about the EMS in particular that is just so fucking dangerous? They're the worst of them all. <laughs> God damn, we narrowly escaped that one, guys. God damn. Oh, it's just every episode. <laughs> you can't even call these guys out without something happening. Without just a bunch of ridiculous shit happening. Alright. Dispatch requesting a tow truck. Assistance required in Great Chaparral. Alright, you guys should be good to go. I appreciate y'all coming out. get back to this other vehicle here actually before they take off um, because we did set that other uh, suspect inside the vehicle of this one here but it looks like he may have just disappeared unfortunately which one was it we put him in uh, it's not showing up on the map anymore he just vanished yeah, he just vanished guys I don't see him in that one it was a charger unit that we put him in he disappeared, guys. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, we'll just say that he got he got brought in by uh, one of our backup units here in this process and further investigation on him as well. And his car is gone as well. So, yeah, that's PDFR, everybody. It is not perfect. It's far from perfect. Okay. I don't know why you guys are standing there in the middle of the road doing nothing. Okay. Whatever. Dispatch to me code four back ten eight. Attention all units. Code four. No additional officers needed. Uh, let me know uh, down in the comments, guys, how you think I handled that, considering the uh, um, special circumstances we had to deal with there. I'm interested in hearing what you guys think about that. Let me know. Alright guys, we found ourselves in another spot here. Uh, got our radar up. And once again, we're going to be looking for speeders. 
or any sort of violations here. Citizens report a holdup at the Harmony 247 market. Units respond code 3. Dispatch to me and route responding code 3. 10 4 copy 8 William 10. Something is directing our attention this way. Here we go. Yeah, we've got a few, uh, uh, at least one coming up the hill here. Dispatch, be advised. I've got uh, one on foot. Uh, East Sonora Road heading up the hill towards the uh, radio tower. something our car can handle. Where the fuck did he go? Stop running! Shit. Man, this guy's quick too. Dispatch requesting uh, additional code 3 backup. In Grande Sonora Desert. Roger K. Oh, I'm getting tired already. Where is he? God damn, he's up on the hill. Sounds like we got some kind of predators out here too. This, yep, well, we definitely got a mountain lion out here. This guy is crazy, man. He's gonna get eaten. Stop running. Stop running, you're gonna get taste. Stop running right now, you're gonna get taste. This bad taste is deployed. Do not move. Do not move. Put your hands up. Hands up now. Get down on your knees. On your knees now. Put your hands behind your head. Do not move. Stay right there. End of the road for you, pal! Dispatch, be advised, we got one in custody. Uh, white male, middle age. Right, where's that bag he dropped? There it is. I don't think we can actually pick these up for evidence. Yeah, we can't. Okay. Now, we did call back up, and it sounded like they were close by. I don't know what happened to them. I guess they got lost. Yep, definitely the end of the road for you guy. We're gonna make our way back to our vehicle. I'll see you guys once we get back over there. Fuck. 
shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. I knew it was out here, but... Well, now we know what a taser <laughs> does to a mountain lion, everybody. It works. Oh, I wanted to pull my pistol out, but I had my taser. Holy shit. Fuck. Dispatch requesting animal control. Assistance required in Grande Sonora Desert. Alright. We're gonna get animal control out here to pick up the body. And uh, properly dispose of this uh, dead mountain lion here. We really didn't have much of a choice here. I had to put it down. It was dangerously close. It could have hurt me or our, our suspect here. Yeah, it looks like they're on scene now. Yeah, they've got a pretty good distance to go around that fence here, so we're just going to let them do what they're doing. They should be able to find it. Okay, again, see you back at the vehicle, guys. We're heading that way now. Alright guys, we've made it back to our vehicle here. Let's uh, we're just gonna put this guy in the back seat right now and we're gonna get back out onto the road. We're going to uh, conduct our investigation out here, out there instead of on the top of this mountain. this car really shouldn't be on anyway. Alright man, get out of the car. Just what are you doing man? Running from me? Why are you running? You choose not to answer? I, I saw you with the bag of uh, money you stole from that store down there, okay? So don't uh, don't even try and tell me that you're doing anything else. All right, where did you come from? Tell me the truth. From work. That's bullshit, man. I saw exactly where you just came from, okay? Where are you trying to take that loot to? I don't want to know. You, you know. You're probably exactly right. Okay, I, I know exactly what you're doing out here. I saw you doing it. Don't, so don't be lying to me anymore, okay? You got anything illegal on you? Any weapons, knives? Anything like that? Anything's gonna poke me, stick me? Says he doesn't know. Check yourself. Alright, I'm gonna do just that. Alright, go ahead and turn around for me. I'm gonna patch you down. Yep, he's got a baggie of heroin on him as well. It's pepper spray. Uh, that's not illegal to have. He can have pepper spray. That's totally legal. At least here in Arizona. Nobody cares. Anybody can have pepper spray. In fact, I don't know any state where it's illegal to have pepper spray. Okay. He does have a uh, carry in public concealed license, He's, but he doesn't have any weapons on him. He's got uh, illegal drugs on him, though. He does have that. So, uh, that's no good. Alright, buddy. I'm going to put you back in the seat. I'm going to get you processed, alright? Josh McTavish, create an arrest report for him. Um, let's see, uh, theft robbery, definitely that. Not an armed robbery, he didn't have any weapons on him. Um, uh, shit, really? Those are the only uh, charges that we have here? They're all unrelated. What if he just, he didn't have any weapons on him? Violent crimes. Um, Again, I feel like I'm missing some stuff here. There might be a, uh, I feel like there might be a plug-in here for um, realistic charges that I used to have that I don't have anymore. Yeah, because I'm not seeing it here, guys. Nonviolent. Maybe it's in here. Uh, 
Not seeing it in there either. Okay, well we did he did have drug possession. It was heroin, right? I'm pretty sure it was heroin. It's either heroin or cocaine. I already forgot guys. I'm putting heroin, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I'm gonna rewatch the video and if I'm wrong I'm gonna feel stupid, but pretty sure that's what it was. So we're right, right off the bat, we're definitely we definitely know we're hitting him with that. Um oh, that's crazy. Other violent crimes. Uh, we're gonna hit him with um, resisting arrest without violence for running from us, and uh, yeah, we've lost our audio here. That's weird. Um, we're yeah, just hit him with armed robbery. He probably had a gun, right? Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. So we're going to submit those charges, and uh, we're going to get this guy taken care of. Dispatcher uh, requesting a, a prisoner transport. We got one in custody for uh, attempted robbery. Assistance required in Harmony. here uh, probably gonna respawn again if I were to bet and they can't seem to figure out our location so guess what guys we're gonna go to them guess that's what we're gonna do they're down here at the liquor mart so oh, wait a minute oh they did find us they finally figured it out oh no yeah, I guess we need another uh, skin for the transport van as well. You see, nine hey. times out of ten, when you call transport, they just come in a, uh, a regular unit. But then there is that one out of ten times where they come in this fucking van. So I usually don't bother with putting a custom skin in for it because it really doesn't what show up that much. But then when it does, it kind of ruins everything. Honestly, it's not really that big of a deal for certain you know, rare vehicles. can be done if that's what you want. Let me know. This special code for back to any. 